Welcome back once again, Spazites, to another Bionicle review. Today we have from 2004 Bionicle Taraga Dume and Nivok. Uh, yeah, this set is awesome. It's really tall, as you can see. Um, unfortunately, because I've had him built for years and years, the ball joints that hold everything in place are a little loose. Although he seems to be holding this pose pretty well. Um, I had him stored completely. Whoops. I think that happened before. Fortunately, it's super easy to put Bionicle back together in most cases. I had him stored like this, all compressed up as small as possible. <laughs> so Nivok was just looked like a crow sitting at the... Uh, well, now he isn't wanting to sit the way I want him to. <laughs> but yeah, Nivok just looks like a, a crow perched on a wire. Just waiting. Waiting. He's gonna get you. But yeah, you squeeze the back here. And it makes his wings open up. Boom. And also shoots his legs off. For no apparent reason. <laughs> Where did I... Uh, put that back on. No, I know why it shot off. Uh, but yeah, so you do that, and it's really cool. I love how they use that as a spring-loaded mechanism. The other cool thing about this is Dume, our Taraga. Uh, comes out of his little compartment here, and any other Bionicle character that has the same small build can uh, sit in Nivok's little cockpit enclosure thing. He's got what appears to be a galley mask. It looks like a gas mask or an underwater breathing mask. He's got the original type of bionicle eyes, as far as I can tell. Although he has a black head instead of the uh, dark gray or light gray that they usually have. Otherwise, it just attaches like any other bionicle character figure. And, uh, yeah, he's got the, uh, Unfortunately, he's not on a ball joint, so he can only go from side to side to kind of look a little quizzical or kind of go like, <laughs> but I like it nonetheless. And then the cockpit works over here. Uh, let's see if I can stretch this out. The cockpit is also on. It's got these little guys here used as spring-loaded mechanisms again, kind of hold it in place. And then once Dume is in there, I just wrap his arms around there to hold it, kind of hold it in place and hold him in place. Uh, as you can see, these hip joints on this guy are, are kind of loose, unfortunately. So I might actually break this down and put it in a bag after I've done the release. You see how tall he is. I wish I had one of my other Bionicle here so I can show you just how ridiculously tall he is. But here's uh, Dume. Dume... Looks like his head barely goes up to the thing's waist. Uh, it might be a little bit lower than Nivok's waist. But uh, the cool thing about Nivok, and I love this, is he's just, he's got so much posability in these ball joints for his legs that he can do a lot of different poses if the ball joints were tighter like they used to be. But my favorite part is his double jointed head. His head is on two different ball joints. So he can uh, put it down really low, twist it in a lot of different ways. So he can give a, he can emote a lot with this figure. So that's really cool. I also love these wicked blades on his knees. <laughs> but yeah, this is a cool set. I it, I've got this when it was brand new for my childhood, and like I said, it's a. Uh, well, not my childhood, my early adulthood. I was I was an adult working full time when this came out. <laughs> I had graduated high school, so but it was my early adulthood. But you know what? I'm just a big kid anyway. I'll be a big kid until the day I die. Yeah. But yeah, it's a really cool figure. He's been sitting beside me at my desk for a while now, and I've been wanting to uh review him, so here it is. Yay! I'll put Dume back in there later. Now, I think Dume, because as I was scrolling through to find out, remember what this, the name was to this set, there is a character called Ultimate Dume. Uh, D-U-M-E. 
and I know it's not Doom, D-O-O-M, although it might be, so I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's Doom-A. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I gotta have to look and see all about this character, because I didn't really follow the lore when I was collecting. I just played with the toys. I did play some of the video games, but... Uh, only a couple of them, and I just kind of played it to play it. I didn't really follow the story or anything. I just, okay, I gotta go do this now. So, yeah. Anyway, I know this is a really short review, but, I mean, there isn't really that much to it when it comes down to it. Uh, so, let me know if you got this set, how you feel about it. And, uh, yeah, till next time. Thanks for watching. Be kind. Happy hunting. And... Goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands, yeah. I don't know what that was. Bye, everybody.